Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sarah from Chinese Made Easy with Sarah. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. So you can see more of the video I'm posting and you can also follow up. You're gonna enjoy this one, okay? Okay, um, today we are going to be talking about tone marks, Chinese tone marks, Chinese tone marks, okay? You can see? Chinese class Zhongwen Ke Chinese tone max Han Yu Shan Diao Han Yu Shan Diao Okay, um, the last class I talked to you guys about um, some basic new words which you have to know as a be beginner Chinese learner Okay, I told you about um, how to say hello, that is Ni Hao Ni Hao Ma How are you doing? Wo Heng Hao I am very fine Okay in those words, I'm sure you'll be wondering that, ah, what are these dots, dots on top? If you followed my life, my, my last post, you can remember I told you about there are some things on it that looks like dots, like don't bother, don't be worried about it. That I'm going to talk about it in my next class. So here we are. Okay, now you can see Chinese tone maps. What are Chinese tone maps? I want you to first know the importance of Chinese tone maps. You see? Chinese tone marks are very important before you can pronounce any words. For example, for example, if you want to say any word in Chinese language without a tone mark, it does not have any meaning and you don't know how to pronounce it. For example, okay, yes, uh, the last class I told you about ni hao. Ni hao, you know, it means hello. Okay, we have it here. Hao means good. So the tone mark on it, this is called tone mark, not dots, okay? The tone mark on it shows the meaning of the word. Do you understand? It gives meaning to the word, and it gives the pronunciation of the word. <coughs> okay? <coughs> Basically, we have four tone marks. We have four tone marks, okay? Which is the first tone, the second tone, the third tone, and the fourth tone. Okay? Now look at this. The first tone is the flat tone. Flat. It just goes like that. We have the second tone, which is the rising tone. Rising tone. We have the third tone, which is the falling and the rising tone. And we have the last tone. I'm sure you can see. We have the last tone, which is the falling tone. Okay. These four tones are the major basic um, tone marks in Chinese language, which you have to know to learn how to pronounce each word in Chinese language. Okay, now look at it. Now I'm here, I put those tone marks on this alphabet. This is pronounced ah in Chinese language. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, now if this ah has four tone on it, it's pronounced as ah, ah, ah. Okay. The second tone, ah, 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 that's rising, I told you, rising. Then the third one is ah, ha. can you see? Came down, ah, 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 can you get that? Okay, then the last one is ah, 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 okay. So you can see the four tone marks, how they are pronounced. Then we have, just imagine us adding this mo sound to each of the words. Like ma, 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 ma. Okay, you can see. Now, look at this. This is how. It has the third tone here. How means good. How means good. Okay, how means good. Then when you change the tone mark from third tone to last tone, it becomes how, which means number. So once the tone mark changes, the pronunciation and the meaning changes. So you have to be very conscious of the tone marks. You have to be very, very conscious of the tone marks. Uh, due to my teaching, like few teachings I've had with my students and some of the students were having problems differentiating between the first tone and the second tone. 
and some of them this um, second term and the third term. So I create a very easy way for them to learn it. I'm just like, for example, in the local language for, let's take Yoruba for instance, if your mom calls you, maybe Kelly, you say, ma, right? Ma would be your response. So you use the first term. Okay. Then maybe your mom keeps calling you, then you're already angry or something, and you, ma, like, they're kind of pissed. Ma, something like that, but don't do that. Okay, then the third one is ma, ha, ma, ha, like you're surprised. I told you to do this particular thing. Why didn't you do it? So your mom is kind of angry, like, ah, do I have to tell you this again? Ah, and this is especially in Yoruba language. Do you know the reason why I have to use Yoruba language as an example? Why? Because both Chinese language and Yoruba language are both tone maps. They have tone maps. Yoruba also have its own tone maps, and Chinese language also have tone maps. So that is why they have more similarities in that. Okay, then the last one is ah. Maybe as I'm teaching like this, I'm not seeing someone behind me, and all of a sudden someone just grabbed me. I'm like, ah! I'm scared. This is something like when you are scared. So, ma, 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 ma. So, with this, you can easily learn it. So, now let's go to this last class. Okay, you can see this has the third tone, ni, ni. You can see it means you, you, right? Ni, it has third tone. Then this has second tone, nin. You can see the pronunciation changes. Nin, nin. Then you can see this one, how, how. Third tone, kui, pen. So that's how you can be able to say this. Ni, how, ni, how. If this is somebody, ni, how. Just like you change the tone marks on it. Then it becomes you, number, you, number. That's meaningless, okay? So you have to be very conscious of the tone marks when you are pronouncing the words because tone marks is very important in Chinese language. Okay, you can see the response. Wo hen hao. Wo hen hao. So the tone marks determine how you respond. It determines how you pronounce and it determines the meaning of each word in the Chinese language. And um, in the next class, I'm going to be teaching you the sounds of each word. That's each alphabet in Chinese language. They, they are called pinyin, not alphabet in Chinese language. Although we know them as alphabets in English language, but in Chinese language, they are called pinyin. So in next class, I'm going to be teaching you how to pronounce this word because the alphabet in English language is different from the pinyin in Chinese language. They have different pronunciation. Do you understand? Okay, so thank you for today and see you in the next class. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.